Hi everybody, in this uh, video I'm going to show you how I make my own juice. This is, the, this is some carrots I purchased from the, the store, so I have to wash it. What I use is uh, cold water and I put some vinegar in there to kill the germs. You know, for, for a while, for a few seconds, before I start juicing it. You know, behind this, uh, the camera is my beautiful granddaughter. She's helping me. She's holding the camera. So I'm making now, uh, I made some carrot juice. I'm making carrot, I wash carrots. Now I'm using celery, because I'm making carrot juice with celery. Plus, with the skin I show that I'm making it with my own uh, grown um, uh, cucumbers from the garden. So I wash in this with the vinegar and water and put it on the side. Now I'm going to start get my juicer and start juicing it. There's my cucumbers. This cucumber is from my garden, by the way. I have a... I didn't have much cucumber this year, but not uh, whatever I'm, I'm having, nobody wants to eat it. So this is my uh, juicer, which is over 10 years old. So I know I need a new one, but this will do as long as it's working. Now I'm juicing the, uh, the carrots. Also, I mix them with the celery hole too. So mix them both together. There's a glass underneath. There's a celery inside. I'm putting the celery in, as you see, and it's mixed. And what's the what? Whatever goes to the other side, to the left side, I'm gonna give that to the worms. I do have some worms, and I feed it to the worms. They love this stuff. As soon as it's empty, I mean, it's filled up the glass, I put it in a container, I get a container uh, to save for later use. So I have to continue all this juicing. Everything in there, all the carrots and the Celeries and that it's a nice juicer, by the way. It's, it's an old, but it's nice. It does do the work. I mean, it's no problem with it. So far, so good. I have no problem as long as you keep it nice and clean. It will do the juicing. So I've been using it for the last ten years. I juice once, once a week, maybe once every other week, uh, depends uh, when I finish it, because I'm seven, I only drink one glass, small glass uh, of this uh, fresh juice every day. You know, we need to take care of ourselves and our health, and it's very important to do so. Now here's my cucumbers, with the cucumber I have Mixed to it ginger, small ginger, and I put some half a lemon. Uh, this ginger is good for digestion. And the uh, lemon is, I use it as preservatives for the juice. Because I'm not going to drink the whole juice in one day. It might last a week or so. This, uh, so, and, and I, the ginger is pretty good for for everybody, you know. There's my lemons, trying to finish. Yeah, the lemon is acidic, so it help preserve the food, or the juice, for a longer time, for a few more day, extra days. Yeah. Now I'm done with juicing this. I'm gonna put everything in my container and put it in the refrigerator. Now, after this, we're gonna juice some 
tomatoes. But the tomatoes we're gonna use this see this all the left what's came after the, from the juicer that goes to the uh, worms. The there's see this this is a celery uh, I mean uh, cucumbers added to my container. This is and the tomatoes I use a blender. I don't use a juicer. So I build the, the I have a lot of tomatoes in my garden and we cannot even eat all the stuff. Eat it yet. So I need to do something with it. So I'm thinking juicing it is not a bad idea. Sometimes I freeze the tomatoes for a different use. I use it for frying with eggs also. So I add a couple of uh, cups of water with the uh, with the tomatoes in the blender. Okay, I cover it up and blend it. I will blend for a few seconds, maybe 10-15 seconds. I mean, you cannot blend all the the peels and, and the seeds. Now we have to strain the the tomato juice, the tomatoes. I use a strainer. That's what we need. we need to get rid of the seeds and the bulb, the uh, the peels of the tomatoes. So you could have only just juice of the tomato. And the pulps. So we you have to be careful and while you straining the tomatoes. You can have a fresh tomato to drink every day if you want. I usually do drink a small glass a day and tomato is very good for your health. There we are. This is what happened. This is a, the tomato juice, and this is my vegetable juice in this container. And I'm gonna taste it to you guys. I'm at the drink a little bit of the, each to show you the tomato. Here's the tomato juice. Look at that. You need to shake it when you when you wanna eat, drink it. Okay, because. It become a little go on the bottom of the the container. So let me get a glass and I'll show you what I I mean I'm gonna drink some of it anyway. Unfortunately I I didn't show myself drinking it. But I did drink a little. This is the juice. Okay, here's a small glass of of the tomato juice. Okay. I put it on the side. Now I'm gonna get a, another glass to put some. Oh, here it is. That's the tomato juice. I'm gonna drink that and it. Ooh, mm, yummy. They're so good, like a fresh tomato. Mm -hmm. The best drink. And this is the vegetable juice. Now we're gonna drink a little of the vegetable juice, the carrots, celery, cucumber, ginger, and lemon juice, all in here.
I should show my face drinking it, but my granddaughter she she's taking a nap, so she she couldn't come to help me. But anyhow, she helped in the beginning with juicing and things like that, and she cleaned up the machine and all this stuff I had to to use. So please subscribe. And thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.